hey thanks for watching my video so in this video i want to show you how to create the 3d piping modeling by using autodesk inventor software so as you can see here this is the 3d, 3D piping modeling of the piping okay 3d modeling of the piping so okay so now we open the new the, the new drawing okay click over here Okay, at the metric, I choose standard millimeter. Okay, over here I click here to to show to show the axis. Okay, this is plane, this is axis. Okay, so now I want to create the 3D sketch. Okay, I click line. I want to detect this center point. Okay, simply I can click here. Okay. So now I want to set to isometric view. Okay. I draw this line. Follow this axis. Okay, this is Z axis. This is X axis. This is Y axis. Okay. Okay, I follow this axis. Alright. Then I follow this axis. Okay, I follow this axis. Then I move outward. I need to choose this plane. Okay. Okay, move outward. Click, and then I move over here. Okay, I choose this plane. Alright. And I move over here. I choose this plane. Okay. Then I choose this plane. Okay, move over here. Then I choose this plane. Okay. Then end here. Okay. Then right click. Okay. Okay. Now I want to specify the dimension for each line. So simply I can click dimension over here, and then I click to the line. Then you can see the current dimension of the line. So I want to set the dimension of the line to one hundred. Okay. Press enter. Okay. Here. Okay. Also one hundred. Okay, same goes to here. Okay, but for here I set to one hundred and ten. Okay, sorry, click one hundred and ten. Okay. Okay, here I set to one hundred also. Okay, here one hundred. Okay, here also one hundred. Okay, here is ninety. Okay, okay, this line is fifty. Okay, this line also fifty. Okay, so done. Okay, now I want to create the band over here, over this sharp edge. Okay, I click band. Okay, I put the radius of the band is ten millimeter. So now I can create the band over here. Okay. Okay, you can see the radius. Then, okay. Okay, here also ten. Okay, ten. Okay. So we already bend all of the sharp edge. 
okay then I click finish okay now I want to create the circle over here so I choose exact plane over here then I click this create sketch okay so I choose circle I draw circle over here okay click then I put the radius of the circle is 15 millimeter okay so now I click finish sketch okay next I want to sweep this follow this line okay so I click sweep so you as you can see we already we already select the circle so now we choose the path okay we choose this path okay okay so I click this line okay so you can see the preview of the 3d piping okay you can see you can see anywhere the path okay so not applicable okay all right and just click okay okay so for now i want to create the shell over here okay to create this i want to create the shell of course the piping need to have the hole to allow the fruit to enter and and the outlet is here this is the outlet this is inlet this is outlet okay i click okay i select shell so i set the millimeter uh, the thickness into one millimeter so when i click here you can see the thickness of the piping over here so this is inlet same goes to the outlet so i okay i rotate this this model okay by click shift and click middle mouse button so you can rotate this model so also here i put one millimeter okay and then click okay so i click i change to isometric all right so now i want to change this materials of the piping so simply i can go here okay you can see the material selection over here at the top okay so i choose the chrome polish okay okay so done with the 3d piping modeling by using inventor okay so thanks for watching my video hope you like it so keep uh, uh, keep follow me don't for, don't forget to to subscribe my youtube channel okay also follow my facebook page and f design and engineering for more updates and tutorial about inventor and autocad all right so see you soon thank you bye bye